So whoever controls the media, whoever controls the media, as Jim Morrison, one of my favorite rock and rollers said, controls the mind. And so ultimately, what we're all fighting for here, folks, is attention, right? I can't sell you anything if I don't have your attention. And so the two things that are gonna give you attention is the telephone and the smartphone, okay? You wanna own that device because that's where people are spending their time. So you wanna be executing amazingly well-engineered phone calls and you wanna be engineering great content and bringing value to every conversation, everything that they see, hear, and feel of yours, bringing that value. And so one of the things that we're gonna to cover today is message engineering. So for those of you who are in charge of inside sales people, how do you engineer a message that's gonna get you the information that you need to position your sales force in front of people who are sales ready, in the market, have a need, have a budget, looking for a solution that you have? We're gonna teach you how to do that today. All right, now one of the things we've been hearing for, uh, for the last 20 some odd years doing this is, and it's getting less and less because people are seeing our success, they're seeing my company's success live, they're seeing how you know, we sold one of our companies to Invacare, they see the client base that we have, they're experiencing it for themselves, they know people who are growing by inside sales, but the old thing that we've been fighting is, my business is too complex. This won't work for me because, all right? There are only a handful of businesses in all the work that we've done that we failed at an inside sales program. I can think of two specific accounts, okay? That's it in the thousands that we've worked with over the years. And so, and now, and we even know why they don't work. So the bottom line is this, and it's because the decision maker is not accessible. Right? If your decision maker is not accessible, then obviously the phone's not going to work. Now, when I say not accessible, I mean does not use a phone, an office phone. All right? So a lot of you, I couldn't reach because you're executives, you're on planes, you're always on your smartphone, me too. It'd be a horrible medium right now for me to try to reach you. But folks like the chief nursing officer, the OR manager, the discharge planners, the lab director and manager, and I can go on and on. These folks have desks, they have phones, they pick up the phone, and they actually love talking to inside salespeople. They actually prefer it, right? You're seeing a lot of uh, negativity about outside sales right now with credentialing, with just people dropping by and, and wasting their time. They don't like that. So what they like is meaningful conversations that get to the heart of the matter. So inside sales is a beautiful way to initiate relationships and to maintain relationships and to upsell those relationships. But I don't care, you know, we, the, the, the screen that you see in front of you, we're doing some crazy tech. All right, the latest treatments for cancer, the, uh, the latest radiation oncology software, all kinds of really cool things we're doing right now in 47 countries, native language, so can you. 